restaurant review right now in the car. Yes, we're in the car. We're doing our, our, our first review. Yeah, we're in the car. Yeah, but since... Car reviews. Yeah, car reviews, right. So, since we do... Since we're in the car most of our time, because we are self-employed right now, um, we're going to be doing the re our reviews in the car. Right, babe? Yeah, some of them. Some of them. Okay, so what is going on? today, today we're gonna be doing the Casa Maria in Jacksonville, on Jacksonville Beach, and it's a Mexican restaurant. I'm pop a picture off here, boop. You feel what I'm saying? See, see y'all can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna say this for me. This place gets a two. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta do food, then you gotta do appearance, then you gotta do overall. So okay. Do three scores. Hey, three scores. We're doing three scores. So okay. Food, and then you gotta do appearance at the restaurant, and then you gotta do. Okay, so. Like the overall. Three scores, gotcha. Appearance. Do we have Food. And what you saying? Overall. Overall. The whole thing, the whole experience. You feel me? And, and the experience, you're right. Mm -hmm. Food experience, and, uh, food experience, and appearance of the restaurant. I think I said appearance of the restaurant. Okay, so for me, well, first of all, it's a Mexican restaurant. It, it, it serves Mexican cuisine, authentic Mexican food. That's what they said. Um, it was not good to me. That's why, first of all, I would give them a two because their food was a two. The appearance of the restaurant, I give that a five because they didn't have like an outside dining experience or whatever. It's, um, and I, I, I had a margarita there too, and it was like, how much it was? Like six dollars? No, it was like eight dollars. Eight dollars for. I think it was $7.99. I'm gonna pop up. I'm gonna pop the the uh, story I did on the restaurant. Like it's really not that good. Like and we do like our like our date nights. It's like our, our, our restaurant that we're gonna be reviewing. So also follow us on Instagram at the lifestyle underscore Libby underscore Kale because we gonna be doing we gonna be like doing the uh, restaurants on our stories as well that we eat out at so y'all can like to see like what we're gonna be re reviewing next anyway um but yeah <clears throat> overall the whole experience <clears throat> i give it a four mm -hmm. four out of ten rating for me personally the drink was not worth it that's part of the food um was too, super small um in comparison to other Mexican restaurants that we had, it's, and this is also authentic Mexican cuisine, it just wasn't there. It wasn't. Okay, what do you think? So, for <laughs> my food review, you know, my food wasn't disgusting. But, being that, like she said, we go to other natural, um, you know, Mexican places, authentic natural authentic Mexican dish that we know that food is supposed to taste like. Like the chips and dip was okay, but they didn't taste like they was made that day. They just taste like mm -hmm. they was warm. Like they didn't taste like they was warm. It was fresh. Two is their like the you know like the, the, the lettuce, the tomatoes, the cilantro, the it was pico old. de gallo. It didn't it wasn't you can tell when it was Fresh because it has an aroma type to it, has a taste to it that makes it better when it's fresh. It just, they didn't have that. And it tastes like they just had things already pre made and then they just served it. Right. Like it really wasn't good at all. But I give them like a four for the food because I still ate it. You know what I mean? It wasn't bad enough not to eat it. His food was actually appetizing. Right. Mine? I had enchiladas. So. 
Y'all gonna see it, but I'm saying. The sauce is pretty plain. It doesn't really have any flavor. You know, I'm not trying to sit on the restaurant, but it really wasn't all that. So the re actual like scenery for the restaurant, being that it's on the beach, it's, it was kind of connected to like a small shopping center mm -hmm. with stores that I cannot name because not another stores. It's like it's like a bridal store. And it was like some it's like clothing store. private owned stores. Right. It was just little stores. It went wrong now. Correct us, but yeah, correct us. I feel like it's private owned stores. But it's in Jacksonville, so we don't shop places like that. So. Well, we don't. We know. live in Georgia, so it's like. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like, and then they had like a little dining area, had the music going. It was kind of busy, but it wasn't busy enough for them to take ten minutes to bring us on the drink. You know what I mean? Or could come get oh, us some chips. Yeah, they have horrible too. It took them a very long time to serve us, being that it was only like maybe four different couples in there, and then like I think somebody else, there's probably like five different people in there. But it wasn't real packed in there.